Piano yoga session two. I woke up early with Tara. Practice going back to work in six days. I'm so excited. The unplanned grand sabbatical of 2023 is almost over. I'm really sad and excited all at the same time. And, uh, uh, oh, I still kind of compensate and lean, but gotten into swimming again, and I can officially start doing all my stuff, and now I will shut up and refocus. My new mantra, start something, finish something. I walk around the house with it in my brain, a little voice, start something, finish something, start something, finish something. So we all have to find what works for us, and this is what works for me for the moment. And now I'm gonna sing this new song. I dedicate it to Grayson. Uh, all the lyrics reminded me of him as I made him pancakes yesterday and he seemed to understand that I was crying out of happiness and told me, I really like this song and I love you, mom. And then of course I started crying even more. So this is the first time I've ever tried to play it on piano. Let's we'll see.
completely symbolic. If you listen, hitting all the wrong notes, they all sounded dissonant and kind of eek. But I think what I take away from it is instead of panicking or freezing or thinking it sounds like crap, that was like rhythmic. Um, it's a glare. In my phone, the camera, it looks like an equal sign. I put it on my cheek. It says like an Indian. <laughs> or an equal sign for like acceptance. Uh, yeah, so the takeaway is, who cares? Who cares what stuff sounds like? Just keep going, you know? This is me being a sappy, middle-aged woman who cries about everything now, so. That's, uh, put a bow on it, because it's wrapped. I'm just kidding. That's probably just the first one, because I have a feeling I'm going to play some more. And I'll probably post them. Because there's something about sharing with people.